Hey there guys, thank you so much for joining me, The Indie Gamer here, back with another video. With this year's Gamescom now all said and done, in today's video it is my pleasure to bring you my top picks of upcoming indie games featured across all of Gamescom 2019. This rundown will consist of games featured within the Indie World Showcase, games featured on the show floor and also any other associated parts of Gamescom 2019. This year's event delivered an awesome lineup of upcoming indie games and with all our wish lists growing ever longer it could not be a better time to be an indie game fan. So with all that said let's jump into the rundown of my top picks of new and upcoming indie games from Gamescom 2019. Originally announced at this year's E3, Spiritfarer from Thunder Lotus Games is a cosy management title where your goal is to provide a safe haven to guide spirits smoothly through to the afterlife. You really do have to respect Thunder Lotus for taking on such a dark theme, which I have a feeling they will do with grace. But it would certainly be fair to expect that Spiritfarer will be an emotional journey when it comes to all consoles and PC in spring of 2020. Eastward is a story-driven adventure game with RPG elements set in a beautiful yet decaying world. You'll play as dual protagonists Sam and John and utilising each character's unique abilities will play a key part of the puzzle solving and combat mechanics within the game. Eastward blends beautiful pixel art with modern 3D lighting resulting in a uniquely charming visual style and with a fantastic sounding electro synth soundtrack too, right there I'm as good as sold. Eastward is coming to PC, Mac and Nintendo Switch sometime in 2020. Cyber Shadow is a side-scrolling ninja game with a retro-inspired visual style reminiscent of the early Ninja Gaiden games. Whilst paying strong tribute to ninja games of the beloved 8-bit era, Cyber Shadow also builds upon this incorporating modern visual touches and fresh gameplay elements. With a heavy dose of nostalgia, this game looks like it could be a huge breakout hit for solo developer Mechanical Head Studios, who describes the game as all of his favourite childhood things brought together. Cyber Shadow releases on all consoles and PC later this year.
announced as part of Nintendo's Indie World Showcase, Hypercharge Unboxed is a co-op tower defense style first person shooter set in a Toy Story like world where the toys have come to life. Team up with up to three friends in co-op to construct turrets, build defenses and above all defend the Hypercore with your life. Currently in early access sitting at a highly respectable very positive rating on Steam, Hypercharge looks like a complete blast and the full release is confirmed to be coming to Switch and PC in winter of 2019. Skater XL from Easy Day Studios is a physics-based skate game with a super smooth flow and an intuitive twin-stick control system. So far, both gameplay and trick styling look both natural and nicely polished and it will certainly be very interesting to see how the game gets further fleshed out as we near its release. With Sessions Skatebird and Skater XL now all on the way, the future of skate games is all of a sudden looking bright. Skater XL will make its way onto Xbox One, Switch and PC in 2020. Coming from developer Cleversoft, Earth Knight is a hand-drawn, procedurally generated 2D platformer taking place just after a dragon apocalypse. Earth Knight is bursting with life and has a style all of its own. With its stunning artwork, fast-paced gameplay and some really fresh ideas, this game really does have a ton of potential. Earth Knight will release on PS4, Switch and PC in autumn of 2019. Fogs is a completely wacky co-op puzzle adventure game where you play as a strange but endearing two-headed stretchy bodied dog. You and a friend will have to synchronise your efforts in order to conquer the game's 30 plus puzzle filled levels. Fogs is barking mad and in my opinion all the better because of it. Fogs will release on Switch and PC in early 2020. There are mistakes we fear, and wrongs that haunt us. But the worst are the sins we choose to forget. Blair Witch from Bloober Team is a story-driven psychological horror game set two years after the events of the original cult classic Blair Witch film. You play as a former police officer with a troubled past on a hunt for a missing boy in the infamous Black Hills Forest. Expected to have a strong psychological emphasis testing your grasp of reality, the game sounds like a perfectly twisted horror title. Blair Witch is available on Xbox One and PC from the 30th of August. The American research facility on the moon was attacked and captured by terrorists. Make no mistake, we are at war! Freedom Finger from Wide Right Games is a bold and zany side-scrolling space shooter. Driven by an awesome rocking soundtrack, this game embraces everything alternative and I cannot help but love it for that. With a distinctive hand-drawn art style and an all-star cast of characters including John DiMaggio, the voice of Marcus Phoenix and Bender from Futurama, 
freedom finger looks like an awesome time to play and I look forward to doing just that when it releases on the 27th of September this year on Switch and PC with other consoles to follow later. Tunic is a delightfully charming action-adventure game from solo Canadian developer Andrew Shouldis. Originally announced as Secret Legend back in 2015, it was later revealed as Tunic within the Microsoft conference at E3 2017. You'll play as a tiny fox in a big world where you'll encounter spooky ruins, explore the wilderness and combat terrible creatures on your journey. Drawing many affectionate comparisons to Zelda, Tunic has gained a lot of attention throughout its development. But Tunic sure does have a charming identity all its own though, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it come release. At this time, Tunic's release date is yet to be determined, but it has been confirmed that Tunic will make its way onto Xbox and PC. Announced within the Indie World Showcase, Ori and the Blind Forest was revealed to be following in the footsteps of Cuphead and making its way over to Switch on the 27th of September this year. Ori is a beautifully crafted Metroidvania which takes you on an emotional adventure that is not to be missed. Ori couldn't be a more perfect fit for the Switch and most of all it's so great to see the incredible work of Moon Studios being shared with a further wider audience. Pine is an open-world action-adventure game from indie developer Twelbound. The game is said to have in-depth RPG elements with a strong simulation aspect where your actions have an effect on the world around you. You play as a character who is part of the last human tribe in a world where humans never reach the top of the food chain. Pine is coming to PC, Mac and Nintendo Switch this coming October. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you saw anything that caught your eye from today's rundown, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, it would be massively appreciated if you would hit that like button. And please do feel free to share this out on social media and subscribe if you would like to see more future videos. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.